This is a right-click function implemented into a word processor in a PowerPoint OS. This is a very basic way of doing it using ActiveX controls. So how do you go about doing this? Well, let's get started. To get started, go to Home, draw a rectangle across the entire screen, set the outline to nothing, go to Format Shape and set the transparency to 100%. Next, go to the selection pane, which you can get from home, select selection pane, and I'm going to rename mine ESC for escape. You can name it anything you want, so long as, you're, so long as you know that when I'm talking about ESC, I'm talking about uh, what I named it and maybe different for you. Make, make it invisible right here, and go to developer tab, and find the list box control from the toolbox and draw that in. This will be our right click menu. Now I'm gonna change the font and everything to make it look nicer. So trebuchet MS to match my presentation at about size 10 font. I'm gonna set a border and I'm gonna set the background to a nice mute gray. Uh, once you're done and you're happy, double click on text box one to open up the code. Change the subroutine from change to mouse up. And this is activated whenever you release your mouse in the object. Um, of course, if you right click, it's only when you release the right mouse button that the context menu comes up. But we need to check that it's a right hand menu. So we're going to, uh, button, sorry. So we're gonna say if button equals two for the right hand button, then end if, and our code will go in there. This, we're going to activate the menu, so we're going to make it visible. To do that, we need to make e, so ESC visible. ESC will allow us to, when we click outside of the list box, it will allow us to register that click and make everything invisible again. So we're gonna go shapes ESC dot visible equals true. And we're also gonna say dot z order bring to front because we need to bring it to front every time dot z order mso bring to front right secondly we need to um, make the list box visible and add all the options to it now because we're going to access a lot of properties we want to use a with statement so with uh, list box one and with first of all we need to make it um, at the same location as the cursor. To do that, we're going to say dot left equals text box one dot left plus x. And for the top coordinate, we're going to do the same thing, but replace left with top and x with y. With y, like that. Okay, secondly, we need to add our items. So dot, first of all, we're going to clear what was already added in when we opened um, the list box previously and we're going to add item i'm going to say for example a line left as one of my options i'm also going to add a line middle and a line right you can have as many of these as you want but make sure the list box is tall enough for them all to show up without you having to scroll okay and then we're going to finally make it visible, so we're going to set dot .visible equals true. We're also going to refresh the slide here by going to slideshow windows dot view dot go to slide slide number, and that's going to be underneath the list box right here. So with all that out of the way, we need to make um, something to close the window. So we're going to make another subroutine underneath here. We're going to call that every time we want to close it because we're going to be closing it multiple times. Close menu and pretty simply we need to just make um, list box one invisible. So list box one dot visible equals false and we also need to make ESC invisible like that dot visible equals so false and whenever we um, are modifying the positions or states of a ActiveX control we need to refresh the slide so I'm just going to put that in here um, so next of all we need to activate this now the two ways we can do that is via the ESC thing so when you click on the shape outside of the um, list box then it will um, 
activate because you're clicking the ESC shape. So go to insert action run macro and find the macro that it is. It's called close menu in my case, it may be different for you if you've called it something else and then make ESC invisible again. Secondly, we can, because the ActiveX controls are rendered separately from everything else, um, if you click on an ActiveX control, ESC won't be on top of it, therefore you have to have your own mechanism there. So double click on your text box again, and then change from mouse up to um, mouse down. Then we're going to check if um, the menu is open. So we can just check if listbox visible equals true, equals true, um, then, and if, Every time we click to get outside the menu, we're just going to call close menu like that. Um, secondly, we can also close um, exit the menu by clicking clicking one of the items. Um, so to do that, we can double click on our list box and change click to change. This is activated whenever you click one of the items or change the, one of the items in the list uh, or change your selection, which is very simple. We can just simply call close menu again. Oops. Um, and that should be pretty much it. We're going to close and delete all the extra subroutines that were generated. And now we can finally um, check which one was selected, so for example a line left, a line middle and line right, and execute commands from that. So to do that we're going to simply select case um, list box one dot value and this is like uh, a if statement but it's just for one variable. For, so in this case we're only comparing the um, what's in listbox one.value. So if in the case that it is, for example, a line left, which I used, then I'm just going to go ahead. It may be different for you. You can add your own functions. But in this case, I'm going to say text, text box one dot text align equals line left. I'm going to do the same thing for the other options, so left, middle will be center, and right shall be right. So with everything all out of the way and done, we can go ahead and test this out. I'm going to right click and it gives us the options. We're going to align middle, we can align right, we can align left again, and if we click outside over here, um, oh, it should have made ESC visible, but it didn't. I think I made a mistake here. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, sorry, I set this to MSO false. That should be true. Um, so let me do that again. Um, so we can set that. If we click outside, it will close the menu. And that is a very simple um, right-click function. If you want to discuss this further, join the Discord server and ping me and I'll be right there. Um, and hopefully this was interesting. If it was, leave a comment or a like. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.